Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin here and the new HVAC guide and wanted to do a video if you're comparing furnaces. I, I did a video on compressors and inverter systems and things like that if you're comparing different heat pumps or AC condensers. And I wanted to do a video kind of piggybacking off of that where if you're comparing furnaces, how you can kind of see what's what you know if you're comparing apples to apples which one's better are you getting what you're paying for is one worth the extra investment and so on we're going to break it down into three different ratings that most gas furnaces have now we're not talking about oil furnaces or any other type of heat we're only talking about natural gas or lp or propane gas furnaces and so let's start with those i did a video talking a little bit about motors and when you're comparing variable speed versus single speed and all those types of things and so that would probably be the first thing you'll notice when you're comparing furnaces and they'll talk about you know what type of motor is it is a psc or ecm or a variable speed motor which one's better depends on your home and i would ask your pro which one makes the most sense i think there are some homes that it makes complete sense to go up to say a variable speed blower motor and then there are some homes that it would not make sense so depending on your zoning and the type of house you have how old it is all that good stuff ask your pro ask your contractor what their thoughts are on that i'm going to focus more on the other two ratings that if you're comparing the furnaces that you should be getting first let's talk about the afu ratings or sometimes it's afue and afu and afue are the same things so sometimes people will just call it the AFU AFU, sometimes they'll throw the E in there. It's the same thing. So that if you're comparing apples to apples, what those numbers are. And what it stands for is annualized fuel utilization efficiency. All that basically means is the higher the number, the more efficient the system is. The more of that gas it's burning and the higher that number is, the more efficient the system is. So they actually compare it to a percentage, meaning if it's an 80% furnace then it's burning 80 percent of the fuel and 20 percent of the fuel or the heat is actually going out through your flue and most 80 percent furnaces are going to have a metal type flue vent it's going to get really hot to the touch and that is energy that's escaping and going out your house and the old days that's all they had it was only non-condensing furnaces and they were all 80% or somewhere in that neighborhood, 80, 82, 85, whatever. These days we have condensing furnaces and you're gonna see higher numbers. You're gonna see anywhere from 90 all the way up to, I've seen some furnaces all the way up to 98%. And again, that's how much of the energy it's burning. And you're gonna usually see some sort of plastic flue uh, PVC or another type of material. That's because it burns so much of the gas that the flu is not going to remain hot going out of the house. So if you imagine where hot meets cold, things condense, there's actually water droplets that will form inside the flue and drain back down into the furnace, meaning it will need a drain to get that out of the house. You still have to have a flue. You still have to get rid of the carbon monoxide, but it's a condensing furnace, meaning it will condense, it will have moisture, and it will drain back down to the furnace. So again, if you're comparing apples to apples, the higher the AFU rating, the more efficient it is, the more it's burning that gas, and the more it's heating your home without having to burn more gas, if that makes sense. The last thing when you're comparing the three, so we talked about the blower motor, we've talked about the AFU, and the third one of those is going to be your gas valve. We've talked about it in other situations, but I'm gonna just make it really easy. Basically, if you're comparing two furnaces and one says it's a single stage valve or it's a single stage furnace, usually that means the gas valve is going to either open or close. There's no in between. It's gonna either open and blow fuel into that heat exchanger and heat your home, or it's going to be off, okay? Then you'll see multi-stage, two-stage gas valves, things like that. And all that means is there's gonna be some in-between. So you're gonna have a first stage that's gonna burn at a lower percentage, and then your second stage is gonna burn at 100%. The idea is if it's only burning in first stage, if your first stage kicks on, it's only going to heat the home, burning less gas, and hopefully save you money. And the last of the three would be a modulating gas valve or a modulating furnace. And basically,
basically all that means is the valve can modulate. It can open, close, there's a lot of in between based on what it needs to do to heat your home. It's not gonna burn any extra gas that it doesn't need to burn. And so it's a more efficient gas valve. So again, if you're comparing apples to apples, if you're comparing two different furnaces, I would say the top of the line furnaces, if you want the cat's meow, if you will, you're looking for one that's gonna have a very high AFU. You're looking for one that's gonna have a modulating gas valve, possibly a communicating system with a communicating thermal thermostat, not the old school 24 volt low voltage stuff. And then finally, you're looking for a variable speed blower motor. So I hope that helps as you're comparing furnaces, you're looking to heat your home, and those are the ratings that you're usually gonna be taking a peeks at. There's other ratings too, there's HSPFs and all kinds of different other numbers that you can take a look at when you're comparing HVAC systems. But I think if you take a look at those three numbers, it will help you decide what exactly are you looking at, what exactly is the system better or so on. Please hit that subscribe button comment down below if you have any questions thanks for watching the last thing i'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in virginia in the middle peninsula or the northern neck give griffin air a call we'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area but if you're not in our coverage area check out my new website i've even got a little banner up here newhvacguide.com check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad. Avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.